What's up everyone, this is Emmanuel Guzman and I'm gonna tell you a few of the things that I like to do when I'm not skating. A lot of skateboarders do have downtime, believe it or not, and so uh, some of the, the favorite kind of activities slash pastimes of mine that I do when I'm not skating, um, I guess the first one, the first one that I'll mention, which is you might find surprising, and uh, honestly it surprises me sometimes that I'm as into it as I am, but I really like golfing. I really um, have, have like grown this, this love and uh, just interest in the game, and I you know, can't believe that because high school me thought that golf was the lamest thing. I, I just didn't understand why anybody would want to go spend their time on a beautiful day out on a golf course playing this slow pace, what I considered at the time boring game. And so it was around 2011, I had had an ankle injury and somebody suggested, you know, why don't you try golfing? Just walking out on the golf course would be a great way to rehab your ankle. It's a, a great way to spend time outdoors, soaking up sun. I just fell in love. I, I was hooked immediately and it's been 10 years now. I still find it to be one of my like go-to saving grace activities when I'm not skating. It's just become one of my favorite uh, hobbies to do outside of skating when I have the time and, and the ability. Um, and so yeah, golf is definitely it's one of my top top out out of skating activities that I really like. Another thing, and, and this is more of a pastime. This is something I grew up I grew up playing and and just following and being super into since since I can remember. It was soccer. I, I really would consider soccer to be my first my first love and like my first passion even before I discovered skateboarding. It was just everything revolved around soccer for me. My favorite teams, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm biased to, to the international teams of, of Mexico and the US. I'm half Mexican, half American. So, you know, I, I typically root for Mexico just because they're kind of, I consider them to be the underdog as far as the advantage and the privileges that they have just as a nation, so I usually root for them, but that's not to say that when the U.S. isn't playing good that I'm stoked and I'm rooting for the U.S. Of course, World Cup or international play only happens so often, so you really only have certain moments to be rooting for those teams regardless, but um, the one team that I follow year-round that I'm not, you know, impartial to, to other people's feelings or whatever is Manchester United. They're an English Premier team. I love English Premier football. It's just been probably my favorite, most exciting um, league in, in football, in soccer to watch since the time I was really young. And even though a bunch of people from the UK will never understand how, uh, how an American like myself can be so passionate about an English team, I just am. I just love Manchester United. Got a Manchester United Bill's Wheels tattoo uh, that I designed. and. You know, to me, when I got that tat, it was like, okay, this is going to encompass all the things that I really love that I'm like hardcore about. Bill's Wheel Skate Shop, skateboarding, football, and then Man U in specific. So, if, you know, you ain't for them. Uh, I remember in Thailand specifically, these two uh, guys working security saw my tattoo and go, yo, yo, check out this dude's tattoo, Manchester United tattoo, what? And they came over and were looking at it. I'm like, what are you guys looking at? Oh, my tat, yeah, Man U, they're all, oh, that's so sick. Um, a lot of Manchester United fans out there. That was sick. That was really cool to find. But like I said, soccer's worldwide, man. You can be in the smallest little corners of the globe, and chances are the the local, you know, population loves soccer. They they follow it like religiously. Another just favorite uh, pastime and and way to spend time when I have it. Um, I'm not doing all these other things or you know raising a child. Uh, I love to make art. Primarily work with grip tape. That's the thing that I've probably come to really enjoy working with the most. That's like the one medium that I, I feel really comfortable, confident. I, I remember having someone put it into uh, the perspective of it's living art. You know, it's like, it's living art. It's not the kind of art that just hangs on a wall. It's, it's art that you put on your board and then you skate that board and it's like living art. And I always thought that was a really neat concept. So really like working with grip tape. I do love most in all forms of art though, honestly. Uh, I like I like looking at it, I like creating it. I like keeping up and following with friends who are creating it. Love to see what they're up to, what they're creating. Um, fortunately, we live in a, in a super, you know, liberal kind of creative area like Santa Cruz where there's just art all around you and there always has been from the time I can remember. So 
it's definitely something that's just ingrained in me just as much as any of the other you know foods and, and activities that I that I feed on that I love that are good for me um, art's a little different I, I have to I have to be inspired unlike the other things unlike golfing or soccer I can kind of just go out and do that stuff whenever but to be in the right mindset and to be in my creative space to make you know good art by my standards I really have to be inspired and be in the right mindset or right uh, frame of mind before I even approach it and if I'm not then I just don't create it just kind of collects dust my supplies collect dust so I'll say that it's probably the the lesser of my like consistent hobbies but it's definitely one of my favorites yeah. and then of course I've got got a kid now I've got a four-year-old child so when I'm not doing all those other things <laughs> when I'm not skating and for pretty much all my spare time is spent um, with my son and with my family and yeah that's the best time spent is, is with them for sure so. all right so I hope that was uh, a little insightful as to the types of things that I like to do when I'm not skating I know that I'm not alone in a lot of uh, those activities in the skateboard community but also you know always interesting to find out what people are into or what they do in their spare time when they're not skating so if you have any questions or comments or things that you know you would like to share whatever you you know you do when you're not skating um, leave them in the comment box we'll, we'll check them out and maybe even get some cool ideas maybe get inspired to try something else um, or just learn the way other people spend their time when they're not skating because inevitably I always say if, if you're not getting hurt skating you're not doing it right so the chances of having downtime to be doing something other than skating if you're skating the right way are pretty likely to, you know, and if you don't have any hobbies, if you haven't found something else to do other than skating and you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs and maybe also read the comments, see what other people are into, get inspired, get some ideas. It's a big world out there. There's a lot to do. Um, we're not getting any younger. Yo, what's good? You want to see some more sick, cool, crazy, wild Santa Cruz videos? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yo, you forgot the most important thing. Along with subscribing, make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the newest Santa Cruz videos as soon as they drop. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.